Ezio Rosado, San Thang and Graham Mode are authors of the paper titled Living Radical Polymerization by the Raft Process, published in the Australian Journal of Chemistry in 2005. The paper has now become the second most cited paper in chemistry from 2005. This paper is a review of uh, living radical polymerization achieved by a mechanism of reversible addition fragmentation chain transfer. And because of this complex name, we have dubbed it raft polymerization. In the paper, we explain that it is every bit as convenient as conventional free radical polymerization, but it offers living polymer chains that can be elaborated into more complex architectures. We think the paper was highly cited because it was timely. Since our first publication on Raft in 1998, over 300 papers have been published, yet no paper had sought to bring all this together in a review. Well, in this paper, we uh, do explain how Raft can be applied to the synthesis of polymer structures such as uh, gradient, block, and star polymers as well as uh, more complex architectures such as uh, microgel and polymer brushes. Raft polymerization developed when we carried out an investigation of the use of diethioesters as potential chain transfer agents. In doing this, we noticed something quite remarkable in that the molecular weight distributions of the polymers remained very narrow. The molecular weight evolved so as to be inversely proportional to the amount of diethioester used, and the polymers retained their diethioester chain ends. This meant we could add further monomer to chain extend them, or we could add a second monomer so as to make block copolymers in a way which couldn't have been done previously. Well, rough polymerization is a big advance over conventional free radical polymerization because even though conventional polymerization is so convenient, it offers no uh, uh, control over the structures that you are making. Whereas rough polymerization gives living change which can be elaborated into all sorts of different architectures and, and different materials with different properties. Publications on RAF seem to be moving away from the more fundamental areas of kinetics and mechanism, although these still exist, to more application orientated areas in fields such as new dispersants, adhesives, and also to the, I guess, growing areas of biomaterials, drug delivery, and microelectronics. The RAF is popular in industry because one of the beauty of RAF is that it can be conducted under the same condition as the conventional radical polymerization and industry can use existing plants and this, as well as equipment to do the raft. Of course, uh, industry also like the living radical polymerization because they can make new material uh, as well as uh, find the new products. We are always on the lookout uh, to improve uh, free radical polymerization so we can do extra, uh, extra things. But we are also in the process of developing some products. Two in particular, um, membranes for water desalination and novel plastics to, to use in plastic solar cells.